fat. It's really good, man. Still type half sleepy. You heard? I'm on deck, man. New episode at 10. New food porn at 10. You heard Alberto Cabrera was popping. My phone is dumb low. Good battery percentage, so this ain't gonna be a long live at all. You heard? Slim Blunt Gang is in the building as always. Slimmy on deck. You heard that new episode dropping in a half hour. Make sure y'all like, comment, share. You heard? Because that's that fire. I'm about to bomb on y'all. You heard? I'm about to get stupid very soon. That's a fact. But yeah, man, I just came up on here to tap in right quick. Let y'all know that new episode is dropping at 10 cash. Make sure y'all chime in. Yes, what up? You already snow. Bro, Sean Chung was popping. Peace. New episode dropping at 10 o'clock. You heard? So if you run across this live after this over, make sure y'all go check that new episode dropping at 10. And I got that new episode with Big Slop out, that Marcy Memoirs. I dropped that last night. A lot of y'all was on deck. 300 people was in the, in the premiere last night. You heard? So that's bubbling. We got both of them joints bubbling. Make sure you go check out both of them. Sam C was really good. Sam C, holla at me. We get that story in. Last of the greats, what up? Word it up, though, man. See these all type of fire trucks running around. Been an accident. G Walls was popping. I'm missing a coffee right now. That's the only thing I'm missing. Real facts. Real facts, I'm missing a coffee, and it ain't no coffee in the no vicinity near me. Shit is whack, bro. I need me an ice sloffy right now. Good ice sloffy right now. Stop playing games and get one of them stories in, man. Real talk. You gotta definitely get one of them joints in. Shout out to the bro Shadow. You heard? Shadow just texted me. I'm on live. As soon as I get off live, I'm gonna get back at him. Yersh! Going in, man. I got, I'm about to, you know, I've been under the weather for the last few days. You feel me? feeling a little bit better now but that being under the weather sometimes that shit is a blessing because you put that work in you heard when i be moving around too much i don't be having time to put that work in the way i want to 
Nigga need to sit his ass down sometimes and put that serious schwerk in. You feel me? So I just been putting in that schwerk. As soon as I go off this live and this episode premieres, I'm I'm going back to put in more schwerk. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up, nigga. I ain't playing no motherfucking games. I ain't playing no motherfucking games. I'm about to go on a rampage. Everything happens for a fucking reason. When they say that, that shit is real facts. Everything happens for a reason, bro. The good and the bad. Sometimes the bad shit that happened to you in life, that shit is meant to happen to you to make you change your ways about something and start doing something differently. You feel me? And that's what's going down right now, you heard? God like was populating. Make sure you tune in to that Grand Ab special that's about to drop at 10. Yersh D Stokes, what up? Louis V, Ace Boogie, appreciate you. Appreciate that donation, my brother. You know you always showing love. Big Phil, what's really good? But yeah, sometimes that negative shit that happens in your life, it really turns into something positive, man. Like it's not a cliche to say that shit like hot negative shit be happening and i be i just flip that shit next to you know it puts me in a different mind state and i say damn i should have been doing this shit or thinking like this or moving like this what's wrong with me you feel me so i'm about to get on some, some next shit my nigga i'm about to get on some next shit bro i'm about to get on some next grind next next level grind next level grind i'm writing this movie taking my time i ain't rushing that shit at all nigga writing this movie see if i had my other jack i could read some of the movie to y'all man but i ain't even gonna blow it up man because it's a lot of niggas out there man stealing ideas and shit man i'm talking about major niggas too man major niggas man i mean a lot of motherfuckers out there man they just they robbing the cradle, my nigga. Yes. Yeah, bros, you know, disclaimer, man. You know, it's not it's 10 o'clock in the morning, 930. You heard, like I said, if you if y'all out there and y'all run into any St. Laz hate, let that hate take the regular mail for three to five business days. Don't FedEx that hate to me, you heard? Because trust me, I know about it already. You feel me? And I, I don't even watch it, so you feel me? You know what I mean? I know a lot of y'all niggas is new to YouTube, man, but make sure, you know, you gotta always remember this, bro. Any nigga with a hand-me-down, you know, any nigga with a hand-me-down Android could upload a video, my nigga. Everybody in this room right now could upload a video and put it on YouTube hating on somebody. You know what I mean? That don't mean, that don't make a nigga a celeb. You heard? That don't make a nigga a real YouTuber. That don't make a nigga, you know what I mean, a star, like, you just gotta, you gotta hand me down Angie. You heard? And that's the bottom line. So, you know, if you hear any hate about St. Laz out there from a nigga who don't do nowhere near on the level views that I do and all of that, you feel me? You might not wanna, you might not wanna DHL me that hate, man. Let that hate take the regular, let that hate take mail from motherfucking overseas, nigga. You heard? I don't need n niggas to Amazon Prime that hate to me, man. You heard? <laughs> I don't need niggas Amazon Amazon Prime and that hate to me, my nigga. Two day, same day shipping that hate to me, my nigga. Let that shit get 500 views first, you heard? Let that shit get a thousand views first before you throw that shit up in my chest, nigga. I don't give a fuck about niggas hating, man. It's gonna be a whole bunch of more niggas hating. Get prepared. You heard Black Play 456, appreciate that Snow Nation, my nigga. You know you always showing love. Romy 16 was popping. 
Jonathan Daniels was really good. Yeah, man, that new fruit corn is at 10 o'clock. We ain't had no new fruit in a minute. I'm excited. I know y'all excited. Shout out to the bro Toucan Sam from East New York. Up to bat tomorrow with a crazy, legendary, historical lesson about East New York and Brooklyn beyond. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out to the bro Toucan Sam. Um, who else I got dropping? What else I got dropping? Oh, shout out to the man. Listen, I got some heat for y'all niggas. I'm going to keep it real with you, man. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all, man. I'm about to take this channel to another level. You know what I mean? I'm about to, about to get a, bad, a lot of bad flack. Because I'm about to drop some episodes that a lot of niggas is going to be mad that I dropped. And, you know, I understand that, man. But at the end of the day, I can't. we can't do the YouTube thing in the hood forever, nigga. Eventually, we got to take it to the take it to the sky, bro. Sky is the limit and you know that we can have what we want. Need what you want. Sky is the limit and you know that you can. Yerk. Shout out to my nigga Ebron, man. I missed your call yesterday, bro. I tried to call you back. You ain't pick up. Holla at the guard. You heard? Shout out to my bro Ebron, man. We got about four, five good chunky episodes out right now. Let those breathe for a minute. When we ready to go back in, we going to go back in. See, that's the thing with me. That's the thing with me, my nigga. You heard? If you peoples, you peoples, my nigga. The door is open. You understand what I'm saying? Just because I ain't do a story with you in a couple of months, that don't mean the door is still not open, my nigga. If you peoples... You peoples, my nigga. You heard? This is up north yard rules, man. If you peoples, you peoples, my nigga. You gon' rock, nigga. And that's the bottom line. Oh, shit. Shout out to the guard buck. Paul and self, I know I'm calling you outside your attribute. But I need niggas to know who I'm talking about. Shout out to the guard buck, man. You heard? Get back at me, bro. I need you on the channel. You already snow. I need you on the channel, my nigga. Word the mother. See, y'all niggas don't be knowing how many niggas is my peoples, man. I really don't, man. You know, but I'm su I'm too humble sometimes. That's why I didn't get on in the music industry the way I wanted to. Because I was mad humble. Now, I ain't, now, I'm not going to sit here and act like it wasn't times where I was an evil fuck. Because at times I was an evil fuck. I was frustrated and hungry in the projects. You feel what I'm saying? That shit had me evil and angry. Know what I mean? Like a lot of niggas that we know. But know what I mean? Motherfucking, um, yeah, man. I was a humble nigga in the industry, though. I wasn't trying to, you know, I wasn't with none of that corny shit. I'm really talented. I really could rap. So I ain't feel like I had to do unnecessary shit or say, yo, you know who my peoples is? I ain't do I don't do none of that shit, my nigga. You find out the hard way. You feel what I'm saying? But I know a lot of motherfuckers, and this is just the beginning. And as the channel spreads out, a lot of people is going to get in contact with the guard. And I'm gonna bring y'all some real, real, epic stories, bro. Because a lot of dudes I know, they was locked up for some real epic shit. You heard? That's a fact. D. Joseph was really good. Randolph, Randolph Bo Squay was really. Yeah, I just dropped a new L Famous, man, like last week, man. A lot of y'all do slept on it. I told y'all, man, that's my word, man. YouTube sometimes, they be fumbling the ball. You know how many niggas hit me up for that L Famous saying, yo, I ain't get no notification. I ain't get no notification. Man, sometimes them notifications. It's a machine, my nigga. That's updating and shit. So sometimes shit don't get pushed out the correct way, bro. And that's a fact. Because there's a brand new L Famous movie out right now. That shit don't, don't, it don't even got 7,000 views yet. But let me explain to niggas about views. Because somebody hit me up on the comments the other day. I got a new comment gang coming up too. And a nigga said in the comments, Yo, lads, your, the views fell off. Yo, my nigga, listen. You know, I don't do nothing less than 550,000 views a month. That is my average amount of views I do per month. 
550,000 views. Sometimes I may do a million. Sometimes I may do seven. Sometimes I may do eight. But this is the real world, bro. You understand what I'm saying? People's schedules change. Motherfuckers go back to school. Niggas got to drive this. Niggas got to do this. At this time now that they wasn't doing in the summer, things change, bro. Algorithms change and everything changes. But it be a thirsty, bum, thirsty nigga that be in the cut waiting for your views to go down. Nigga, my views ain't never going down, nigga. Now, I know they say never say never, but I'm saying never. You heard? Because this shit is too easy for me and I do it in my sleep. You understand? So anytime my, my view you do see, and aside from that, son, niggas got personal lives, son. Like I got all type, nigga, my cousin, like all type of shit. My cousin just passed away. My mom shit fucked up. Sometimes a nigga is not gonna be dropping a video each and every day, my nigga. And if I don't drop a video each and every day, guess what? That shit is gonna lower my view shit, my viewership for that week or whatever. Who gives a fuck, my nigga? I keep semi-automatics and fully automatic weapons in the cut, ready to bomb out at all times, my nigga. So, just know and understand this about Z-Boy. Those that may be out there hoping my views go down and shit like that. Yo, son, listen, son. Let me tell you something about Z-Boy Suicide Polo with the Ski Boy, you heard? I always got five in the cut, my nigga. Your skin bot, I always got five monsters in the cut, lurking, stories, ready to go. I always got five. When I'm sit, when I get to sit my ass down and edit them shits, is a different story. But I always got a good, I'm always sitting on a good five, a good fever of unreleased heater. You understand? So at any time, I just want to bomb out and drop five episodes in a row. I could do that, my nigga. You heard? The key to this shit is called passive income. Not aggressive income, you heard? Passive income, my nigga, where you could chill for three, four days and not drop nothing, and it ain't going to hurt your overall uh, money, your overall bag. You heard? Now, I'm not at that level just yet. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not at the level just yet where I could passively take off three, four days. It will fuck up my pockets. But sometimes, 